Welcome back to NHS Hack Day in Cardiff. I am with Emmanuel, who is working on a project here today. Can you tell us, first of all, Emmanuel, about yourself, where you come from and what you do? So um, I live in Cardiff and I've been living here for four and a half years and I'm a freelance web developer, programmer. And uh, yeah, I work remotely with in the open science area with colleagues from all around the UK. And, uh, that's and how did you hear about NHS Hack Day? Oh gosh, I'm, I'm not 100% sure actually. <laughs> I think I heard about it from uh, open data folks, which I yeah. know, who I know through uh, my open science work. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Ben, who's around here somewhere, yeah, and Proctor. Esco, yeah, Ben Proctor, yeah. and Esco Ray Canyon yeah. uh, from ODI. Yeah, yeah great. I think that's how I know about it. So we've got it. good networks in Cardiff, don't we? People tend, we tend to thankfully hear about projects and things that are going on, just nice oh, community yeah. around uh, work like this. So yeah. what are you working on? What project did you come and get involved in? So I came here without an idea of my own. Mm -hmm. um, I was looking for a group and, and there was a, a, a couple of people that pitched um, digitizing a uh, health passport. So currently there are these um, uh, paper health passports for people with learning disabilities, visual and auditory impairments. And we are uh, trying to come up with a way to digitize them. And it's been pretty interesting so far. So it's um, in the beginning, uh, when you do something like this, you have to put in quite a bit of effort just to get something basic up mm -hmm. where you can store data. And there's even uh, data governance and privacy and security issues to consider at medical data. Um, but from then on, the actual like, really exciting stuff uh, is when you already have the base set up. So, you know, there have been ideas about them, in addition to just textual data, there being video data. So people recording not just, you know, like kind of formally what they like and what they need, not just data, but recording a short video about how they feel and so forth. Yeah, and that um, could have lots of applications because sometimes they say about um, even somebody that's older, how they are normally. So that if when they're in hospital, you kind of know how they are compared to how they are at their best or ideas yeah. like that. So that's really, that's where video can come in is like giving a bit more insight into a person and how they are more yeah, than, in, than indeed, in text. Yeah. Uh, so what kind of people have you? How big is your team? We are, I believe, six people. Six people. Yes. And so who, who all is um, in the team? So there are two developers. Yeah. And um, for people who do various tasks, so we have uh, we have them do design, the actual yep. design of the web uh, application that we're making, and logo because you have to have a logo, um, and yeah, like reach out to um, like do research basically on other health passport initiatives sure. done previously. In and the then UK. you've got the people who actually pitched as well, the people, the yeah. users. Yes. Your team from. That came with Barrod with yes. people first. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So they. Yeah. Yeah. So you've uh, got uh, a real kind of mix between your actual users and designers and developers. Yeah. I think yeah because they were telling me at the start that they were doing all the design work and now it's got over to the kind of coders and <laughs> so the the, the 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 kind of during the course of the day the work that's being done often changes yes, uh, yeah. between like earlier and later. Have you been involved or been speaking to any of the other projects or? Mm, not, no, not so much. Not actually. so much, yeah. yeah. Usually, I, sometimes people come in and they kind of like float around and do a few different things, but it's, if you've got something made and you got stuck into it, it's good to be able to get on with it. What, yeah. do you, what do you think in general, if you were telling, trying to tell somebody what NHS Hack Day is about, uh, what would you say, how would you describe it to them? So NHS Hack Day for me is a coming together of people who care about other people, mm -hmm. who care about the NHS, and who want to do something good for healthcare. Yeah. That, yeah, in that's like, it. very yeah. briefly. Very yeah. briefly. And yeah, they come from all sorts of backgrounds, and it's really, that's one of the very interesting things 
how you know there's somebody interested in blockchain, there's somebody in very interested in paper documents, and you know somebody who does 360 uh, degree videos yeah. for a living. It's just very eclectic really and very interesting. Eclectic. Yeah, a really yeah. good way to make people that you might not normally be meeting and Abs be able to get absolutely, work. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, great serendipity comes out of it. Well, thank you, Emmanuel, for no. coming along and getting involved. You're really welcome. Thank you. Thank you for organizing. No, you're right. It's my pleasure. Thank you.